a multi-dimensional error and we have to, and that's a two-dimensional error because we have an a, a secondary element inside a primary element now we are not going to look at a complex example right now what we are doing in here is we are looking at simple elements we have just created one question and inside that one question we have created a structure now the structures there are three forms of structure uh, there are three um, structure elements in here the first is the ID the second is the question and the third is the answer I hope you remember what we have done inside our conditional script this is just the same thing but we have added a new ID uh, structure an ID element of the structure that holds a string value of a this is just to make our uh, searching easier when we go on and use the switch case statements now let's create the second element inside our um, array so this will also have an ID field and this will be a B and this ID will be an, the second alphabet of the English alphabetical list so let's also create questions let's also create the question and what was the second question that we used what is your name so let's copy this let's copy this and uh, let's paste it in here and we are also going to um, copy the answer let's just write it actually it's a small thing so my name is Nafiz Ahmed and we are done with our second element inside our um, inside our array so if you look carefully what I've done in here oh, I have actually missed one thing um, so this is two and I need to declare a stru the struct new function yep so it's done we have two array elements if you look carefully that are this questions one uh, this questions is an array and every time an array starts it can be um, referred to using its index every array element have uh, every array element has their own um, index so the index what we talk about are just numbers usually arrays start from the index of zero but you can also uh, you can also manually manipulate it to have the starting point of one like I've done in here I've t started it from one so this makes our looping a lot easier rather than going through um, a lot of calculations although there are not much calculation there is a little trick when you use a starting point of zero if you had used a start zero in here then your loop would have to negate a value from the entire element aerial uh, array elements we'll be looking at that when you get on to the last section of the script now we have one uh, we need to add another one I guess there was this um, uh, there was another element inside this array so this will be struct new and let's also create an ID for this so this will have the ID of C and we're also going to add a third question and, let, and what was the third question where do you live let's copy this and let's paste this in here and the final one is the answer so this is Taka okay now we're done with our, our array and we have created a structure inside our array now the fun part in here is now we're going to look at how to work with the switch case statement now if you can actually guess the switch statement starts with the CF switch tag and it takes the attribute of expression 
Now inside this expression attribute, let's just finish this up and I'll be explaining what that expression is. Uh, CF switch, okay. So inside this expression we're going to pass along uh, we're going to actually pass along the um, parameter name that we created at the beginning of our uh, script. So this is going to be the URL questions. So this URL questions it actually has um, this, yeah, this URL questions it actually has the value. It has a default value stored inside it. It's, it has a default value of two uh, stored inside um, its uh, its structure. So what it does, it's going to retrieve a value. It, we're going to create a link later on. We're going to create a CF uh, link inside our CF output tags uh, after we uh, understand what the CF switch expression is. Now, this expression, it takes along this value. When a user clicks a value, it's going to um, refer, maybe the user might have clicked the third element of the array. This tree is, is going to get stored inside this questions array, and then it's going to store, in, it's, it's going to st uh, get stored inside this URL. Uh, structure. Uh, it's going to get stored inside this URL, and then what we get in here, is this part URL questions is uh, going to get replaced with the value of three. Now, when we talk about the value of three, we are going to look at uh, how to print out the question and the answer section when the uh, third element is requested by the user. So for that, we need to have CF case statements. It's really simple to create a CF case statement. You just need to add CF case, and we need to pass along the value. Now, the CF case statement also needs to be accompanied by the closing tag of uh, CF case. And in this part, what we need to do is that we are going to pass along the value of um, or the value of maybe because uh, we we are going to uh, make the second element inside this array the default uh, uh, default question answer that will uh, be displayed on the browser if the user does not request any question answer by themselves we're going to show a default one so for that default one we don't need to pass along the CF case I'll be explaining this in entire thing once I complete this don't worry about that I'll explain everything uh, everything uh, once this entire script is completed so um, the first thing that we need to do is to pass along the value of a and CF set so the CF set is going to have questions and this questions is going to have this um, it's question uh, uh, this is a variable and we're going to store it along this questions and what was that it was the first element and the question will get stored okay now the second thing is CF set we're going to store the answer and uh, it's going to be the first element and we're going to retrieve the answer from our first element okay that's done and let's also create the other case statement so this is going to be C and let's close this we're going to uh, we're going to store we're going to create two variables the first one is the question and this is going to be um, the third element from the array and we're going to retrieve the question that we uh, stored inside the structure of this third element 
and 